Stephanie with Sandbars Boat Rentals and today you guys are going to take a quick little look at our Bennington 20 foot pontoon boat. So let's go over all of the safety features of this boat. Starting in the front we have three entrances exits. One in the front, one on the side, and on the other side. We're going to go up here to the front locker here on the right hand side also known as starboard which is your front anchor and extra ropes. Port side, you're gonna have the live well, okay? We have one dock line here, and we have plenty of bumpers all over the boat for your docking needs. This boat's also equipped with an upgraded sound system. In this locker here, we have an orange safety box. Inside of the orange safety box is everything you're going to need if you get pulled over by FWC. It's gonna have your safety flares, it's gonna have your registration, all of that. Underneath these seats are gonna be your life jackets and extra storage. So life jackets there, and we have extra storage inside of here. Going to the aft of the ship, we have your battery box. Battery box is very important. We have two batteries. You can see right now we're running on one and two. We wanna make sure you guys keep an eye on your batteries on a boat because it is the one thing that's going to fail quite easily if you do not watch how you are expending your energy output. We also have two of the fire extinguishers back here as well, as well as a rear seat and some more bumpers and a rear anchor. And this boat is fully equipped with a Yamaha four stroke 70 back ladder in the back. Please, everybody, any boat or vessel that you guys take out, please make sure that the motor is not running when you get off of the boat or get onto a boat. We have a rear door back here. And coming up to the helm, Brian will tell you a little bit about our boat. At the front, we have our Raymarine chart plotter GPS. As you can see, it tells you where you're at. It doesn't tell you where you're going. Um, also attached to that is our Coast Guard required throwable device. Right here is our key. Attached to the key is the emergency whistle and also the safety lanyard. Something to think about with the boat if for some reason it ever doesn't start and you hear a buzzing sound, you probably left the safety lanyard disconnected. This is the throttle. And the middle is neutral. It needs to be in neutral to start. If you don't have it in neutral, it's not going to start. If you go to turn the key and it doesn't start, it's probably not in neutral. Just like any other boat, the far, you push it forward to go forward. The farther forward you push it, the faster you go. Reverse is the backwards. Put it backwards and you're in reverse. The farther backwards you push it, the faster you go in reverse. You gotta be careful going in reverse. It's not as easy to steer. Also on the throttle is our trim for your motor. Up and down raises the motor up and down, which in turn, raises the bow in the opposite direction. So if you bring your motor down, it puts your bow up, which is up on the switch. Sometimes you can get a little more speed. On this boat, it doesn't really do any good because the max speed on this boat is about 20 miles an hour. So you're not really gonna get much out of much more out of, out of trimming it up. It is very convenient though, if you wanna put it up on a sandbar and get into some really shallow water, you can trim the motor all the way out of the water and um, you can you can got to have a nice little relaxing spot there. Okay. So as we're looking at the instrument cluster, we have our live well, which Stephanie showed you up front. You just flip the switch, uh, and then all of our accessory and navigational lights, um, which work, but you can't use them because you can't take the boat out at night. As you see on our trim, our instrument cluster, trim gauge uh, shows you the trim position of the motor, uh, the tachometer and then the fuel gauge. The, um, it's a 22 gallon fuel tank. So you figure you got half tank of gas, you used about 11 gallons of gas. Uh, also right here, we have our Bluetooth and USB equipped radio system. It also has AM FM, uh, works really well in this area. Uh, pretty good internet signal. So on your, on your phone, you can always stream your Pandora or Sirius XM or whatever you're listening to. Sounds really good.